Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. Today I'm going to be making something vegan. So, I'm going to be making a banana bread. I'm going to be using whatever I have in the house to kind of put it together. To be honest with you, I have a bunch of bananas that are going bad and we're within our vegetarian gluten free challenge and I'm like, well I won't let them go to waste since I can't use flour, but I'm going to be creative what I got. Alright, so first I'm going to put in some bananas and also while I do this, I want to tell you about the word of the day. The word of the day is milk. Today I'll be using almond milk and so it doesn't matter whether it's almond milk or the regular milk, we call it amata. Again, that is amata, that is milk. So first things first, I want to put on my wet ingredients. Remember, when you're baking, it's important to separate the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients. You start off with your wet ingredients and then you combine that. After that, you put in all your wet ingredients. Let's continue. So vanilla extract, you put in a teaspoon in there. Well, don't do what I'm doing. I know how much that is. We have two tablespoons of vinegar in here. Let's combine that up. Two cups of rolled oats. Gluten free by the way, just to make sure. Because this is gluten free and also vegetarian as well as vegan. I'm also using two cups of uh, cassava flour. Two tablespoons baking powder. Then one teaspoon baking soda. I decided to put a little bit of uh, a cinnamon. It's a dash. And also nutmeg. I'm going crazy here. I'm putting in some coffee. Well, sue me. Haha. <laughs> JK. Anyways, um, so I should have put in my sugar first, but hey, who is asking? I'm putting a half a cup of sugar. So a quarter cup of oil. Putting in um, six tablespoons of almond milk. And a dash of salt. Before I buy it, I buzz it. I don't want flour to go all over, so I just give it a quick mix like that. Then I start winding everything down. Now let's go. Who said if you're eating a vegan, a vegetarian, or gluten free that you can't have some baked stuff? Typically, I will use some uh, butter all over this, but since we're eating vegan, I'm just going to use olive oil. In the oven we go. We're all done. As you've just seen, it looks amazing and I can't wait to try it. It's actually really good. I mean, I gotta say it's not the same thing I'm used to. All that fluffiness and all that, but you know what? The flavor is there, just amazing. Um, well, I hope you try it. Let me know what you think. And uh, well, that's summed up. I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> 